Hello and welcome to your 10.7 part two video. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the volume of spheres and our essential question asks just that. How do you find the volume of a sphere? So let's start with the formula for the volume of a sphere. For the volume of a sphere, you're gonna use the formula volume equals four pi r cubed all over three. Sometimes you'll see this formula written in textbooks as volume equals four thirds pi r cubed. We just like the first formula better because it's easier to put that into your calculator. So in this video, I'm going to stick with the formula volume equals four pi r cubed divided by three. Remember too that r is just the radius of the sphere. So r goes from the center of the sphere to the outer edge of the circle. Here's our first example. We're gonna find the volume of the following figure, leave our answers in terms of pi. Again, that pi symbol is already included in the answer blank, so we will only need to type in the number on Schoology. So the first step of this question, before we do anything, for finding volume, you always need the radius of the sphere. And you can see right here that this 30 is not the radius. This 30 goes all the way across the circle. So that's the diameter. Whenever you have the diameter, if you need the radius, remember the radius is just the diameter divided by two. So if we do 30 divided by two, we get 15. So r equal 15 is the number we're gonna need for the formula. formula. Now, now we can go we can ahead go and write down, down our formula, formula for volume. For volume volume equals, equals four pi r cubed divided by three. Then we just go ahead and substitute our numbers in. So we have four pi, that stays the same. And then our radius is 15. And then that whole thing is divided by three. When you put this into your calculator, first do 15 cubed, and 15 to the power of 3 is 3,375. So on top of our fraction, we have 4 pi times 3,375, and then that whole thing is divided by 3. I'm going to zoom out here a little bit, and now I'm going to multiply those two numbers on the top, the 4 times the 3,375, and when we do that, we get 13,000. 500 pi, and then that whole thing is divided by three. When you put this in your calculator, leave the pi symbol out of it. We just do 13,500 divided by three, which comes out as 4,500. So the volume of this sphere would be 4,500 pi. It's volume, which is always a unit cubed. So our final answer for volume would be 4,000 500 pi centimeters cubed. When you go ahead and type your answer in on Schoology, the pi and the centimeter cubed are already part of the answer blank, so you will just need to type in 4,500. Now that's how your answers are gonna be kept on Schoology, but just so you know, if you did want the decimal approximation here, you could always take your calculator and do 4,500 times the pi button, or just times 3.14, and that would end up being an approximate answer of 14,137.2 centimeters cubed. But for your homework on Schoology, again, just stop with that pi symbol there and type the number in the blank. Here is one final example. We're gonna find the volume of this sphere. And notice that the 5.9 is already the radius. It goes from the center of the circle to the outer edge of the sphere. So we have everything we need now. We write down our formula, volume equals four pi r cubed divided by three, and then we can go ahead and sub in 5.9 for r. So that's four pi times 5.9 cubed all over three. When you put this in your calculator, again, do the 5.9 to the power of three first, and I'm gonna wait to do my rounding until the end. So right now in the top, 5.9 to the power of three is equal to 205.379. And then I'm going to take that times 4, which is 821.516. The pi symbol is there, and the whole thing's divided by 3. Now, divide by 3. So I'm taking 821.516, divide by 3 in my calculator. And when I do that, I am getting 273.838. We're going to round to the nearest tenth. 
So that's 273.8 pi. It is again a volume and volume is always a unit cubed. So we have uh, 273.8 pi meters cubed. So in our answer blank on Schoology, we would just need to type out the 273.8. The pi and the meter cubed are already part of the answer blank. Leave your answer like that. If you did want a decimal approximation, you could put it in your calculator, but on Schoology, remember, don't do that. Don't use your pi button. Don't multiply by 3.14. On Schoology, you are just gonna leave it as 273.8 pi meters cubed. So that's it for this video. I hope it helped you learn how to find the volume of a sphere. As always, you'll have a few quick questions for a note check to answer, and then you'll have some practice problems to try for homework. Good luck. See you soon. Bye.